You know, actually, I wanted to ask you about the uh, the whole f- the free speech rally. What did you think about all? Because we've been consumed by it on all sides. What is your viewpoint on my, what happened my in view- Boston? Well, actually, it was relatively peaceful, which I like. I'm all for political discourse. I'm, it's perfectly fine to disagree with people. I'm never for violence. I'm, I'm kind of pissed off at what would happen in Berkeley because I, I'm not a fan of Milo Yiannopoulos. But isn't college where you go to hear a difference of opinion? A better example, there's a wonderful um, activist named Ian Ali Hersey. She's against female genital mutilation. Now, what, what is wrong with that? And she, she, she fled Somalia, actually got elected in the Netherlands, and then she had to come over here because there were death threats on her from Muslim extremists. She wanted to speak at Brandeis, and they shut her down. Now, Yeah, that's because she says that male circumcision is... Uh torture and uh she says that there's a jewish conspiracy to uh cut off men's penises i never heard and, that uh that that <laughs> female we're gonna have to look this up hey, we're, getting in, yeah, we're getting into warren stuff it could be fake so the fake news alert i people. don't know we went from well, gold warning, standard to warning, foreskins warning. over here i don't know could what's be going real, on could be fake you never know with warren Lynch. <laughs> but, she, but, but she said that there were uh, Moyles drinking the blood of Jewish babies. All right, I think we've heard enough. All right, I, I haven't heard that. I, I'm personally a fan of the lady, I'm a, um, but I, I do think that the, whether she said any of that is true or not, it's free speech, and a difference of opinion is something you should be getting in college. But they're a Jewish university; they have the free speech to say, "Hey, you can't come say that yeah, stuff yeah. here, right? We don't want to pay you." But somebody wanted to hear her. So why can't they hear? I'll give you another example. I mean, you can I, invite Gigi Allen you know, to perform at your college. I, I got to make another point, though. Why can't people say, I don't want you on my campus? Okay, yeah, what, what's right, the problem exactly. with that? Like, like I, I, I would say, I don't want that guy on my campus. What's the problem with protesting someone? I don't see that, you know. Protesting but not banning free speech. I was, I was there to meet Charlton Heston when I was running for senator about 15 years ago. And the students tried to stop I, I, him I'm from speaking. I'm pretty damn happy when, when we say no Nazis here. Like, I... I'm sick of being tolerant to these people. Yeah. Like, seriously, especially when they're making advances. I mean, and now they're, yelling, they're, they're going with a new tactic where they're like, oh, we're not really Nazis. We just agree with everything the Nazi thought. <laughs> yeah, we, right. we, just, we just think Nazi stuff's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's all a meme. We're not actually Nazis. Right. We're well, just pretending. It's yeah, about frogs. You guys, yeah. you liberals are really uh, reactionary. Yeah, right? Um, the alt center. I don't know. I, I, I like to hear a difference of opinion, and I have no problem with it. And I think college is a place where that should be encouraged. That's all I'm saying. But what I do, it... but not, not, not Nazis, though. Yeah. Like, like... I don't think we have anything that we need to learn from Hitler. Like, I just don't. Or the Proud Boys. I just don't. Yeah. Or right. Gavin <laughs> McGinnis. I mean, I, yeah. You watch this freaking podcast for 10 minutes, and just like, Jesus, Jew, 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 Jew. I hate trans. I hate trans. Uh, it's just all trigger words. It's just like, crap. That guy's an idiot. It's Rod Weber. Ooh, hello. Hello, Rod. What, what do you got for our guest today? Or us? Well, my question is, uh, going back to the uh, quote-unquote free speech rally there, well, you know, wh- why is it that with all of you, you uh, on the right, it's always the complaint that free speech is being suppressed when really it takes the state to do that? I mean, you, you can't have a bunch of other people show up uh, with an overwhelming voice yeah. saying that Nazis are, are not cool, even though they weren't yeah. technically Nazis. Right. I get that. But, but, I mean, to keep saying that that repression yeah. Isn't that dishonest? doesn't make I, sense. I, Donald I, Trump engaged yeah. in actual repression of the press. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I had my ass handed to me by his goons. That's actual uh, suppression of the First Amendment. Why do you guys insist on calling what the left does with their louder voices as suppression of free speech? It makes no sense. Well, let me, let me say one thing about that. Hillary Clinton went an entire year without doing a press conference. The only thing she ever did was have hey, organized man. press. Can I finish? But, yeah, but answer the question. That's not, that's not answering yeah, the what? question. That's changing so the you're, subject. You're claiming that goons beat you and prevented you from he speaking? He has video of it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, that's terrible. Sure. Whoever did that, Democrat, Republican, or otherwise. Well, and what about the fact, though, that I think what Rod's really saying is uh, – we like when someone like Milo doesn't get to speak. It wasn't about the government saying you can't speak. It was about a bunch of people showing up and said, "Hey, we don't want you on our campus." So they burned the Martin Luther King Building Center. I mean, what? yeah, that was, a, that was a building they broke the windows in. It was a Martin Luther King Building. But but, but you're insistent that that somehow that's suppression of free speech. It takes the state. You're you're constantly yeah. Constantly, well, I, no, I disagree. I disagree. At that. worst, that's a violent mob, not the state. Yeah. I think it's a kind of at bit, worst. I think it's intellectually a little dishonest. Yeah, because that's not Ron. like the powers that be. Yeah, 
Because I think people are missing that. I think people need this to was know the people of freedom of speech means the government doesn't get involved. And the government didn't get involved in that. It was the people decided. And, you know, every day I get censored because the, you know, so many times the boss of Globe won't run my story. The boss of Globe will actually steal my stuff and rename it. I mean, this is what goes on in the media. I'm not just calling. I know people think I hate the Globe or whatever, but I mean, a lot of this media. We all hate the Globe. Yeah, who doesn't? (laughs) But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they basically the corporations censor all the time. The why I was Mike Can for so long. Free speech isn't free. I had a day job and I didn't want to lose it, so I wanted to do all my stuff and not have my uh, day job ever find out. (laughs) <laughs> until I was ready to leave it. And that's exactly what I did. I never talked about it at that day job. They never knew I was Mike Can. So, you know, people have that choice. And I think people should be aware of that. That's that that's free speech. Like, you know, you got to find your free speech where you can get it. Uh, but free speech isn't really free on the street. It's basically the government can't shut you down is what the Constitution says. Right, John? I would like to see a little more civility is what I'm saying. And who doesn't agree that Nazis suck? I mean, come on. What percent of Americans do you think are really Nazis? Well, you. I mean, you, also- you don't agree that because because you're, you're basically uh, making these false equivalencies. So you're making excuses <laughs> for them. You're saying they're okay. I never said that. Don't put words in my mouth. We're saying that it's not okay. I and mean, if you want to talk civility, don't run people over with your car. You yeah. know, well, that's like the, yeah, you I mean, know what I mean? Like, don't. And, and, I mean, I'm not I'm, saying you would do that. I'm just saying this is the group we're dealing with. Like, I, I agree. I'm against all violence. Of yeah. Course. I don't okay. Believe, and, and if you disagree with me, I don't want to hurt you or harm you. I just respect your difference of opinion. There is room for more than one opinion in this country. Perfect. But if you're doing a drive-by shooting in my neighborhood. Yeah. I might have to physically stop you if the police aren't doing it, right? That's self-defense, naturally. That's perfectly okay. 